Yo, what is going on, homies? It's your boy Stumped back from the OPTC video, and in today's video, we're diving into the 10 star Kazuna Clash with the Momo teams for you EXP fiends out there trying to take down your assists as much as possible. Now, obviously, this is a Super Boss Kazuna, and I know a lot of people don't really use these teams for Super Boss because you're really trying to get up your 10 star runs as quickly as possible, but these particular teams will help you guys out if you guys are looking at trying to maximize your pirate level whilst grinding out the game. Now, Momo is just so good for pretty much all these variations. He can remove attack down, he can remove damage reduction, he has end of turn damage, he gives you an attack buff, he can give you Wano orbs to get around um, unfavorable orb effects, and he's just a very, very good character for these types of events. If you're like me, whenever you are doing your assists, um, you do like to try and build up as many uh, or as much AXP as possible so you don't have to farm it elsewhere. Hopefully, this does help you guys out. Now, as mentioned, against the quick variation in the prep video, um, you can use Rush Sanji over Zora Sanji. That's a perfectly fine replaceable unit. However, I did find that I wasn't using a support to get around stun, so I just slapped on the pudding support on Sanji. That way, you can actually get around stun. I, I totally forgot to do that in the video. Something I over also overlooked in the video was Robin and Koala's Super Swap will actually remove three turns of Threshold. So you don't actually need the Kazuna Rare Recruit Luffy. You can just bring any other Luffy or... Any other unit that can trigger the super tandem of um, Zoro and Sanji. Honestly, it doesn't even matter because you have Ace Yamato on this team. So that way, you're just triggering it that way. But with the Luffy unit, like I said, he's just a boosted character. And he just does a lot of damage. You could probably bring something like Robin. Uh, and you can't. We're using Robin Koala. You could probably just bring like a condition, another conditional booster. Like, um, no, you can't because we're not doing that too. Never mind. Ignore me. Um, to get around the stun, we have the pudding support. To get around the damage reduction, we're using the Momo special. Momo gets cooldowns on this stage, which is really, really nice. We have Chain Boundary with Ace Yamato. We have an attack boost with Momo. We have an Orb buff with uh, Robin Koala. We have Color Affinity with Robin Koala. We can increase our attack and orbs with Zoro and Sanji. They give us chain shenanigans. We can use their Super EX. This team has a lot going for it. There's a lot of damage in this team, and it should carry you guys up quite high in terms of actual assists, pushing stuff like 60, 70, uh, level, level 70 with um, this particular team. So if you guys are looking for EXP, um, hopefully go no further than this particular team. Make sure you super swap with Zora Sanji last. Um, you do want to use Momo to get around to the damage reduction. Because you rotate orbs, you end up ending up with um, strength orbs. I just used the um, other Super X to give myself uh, one orbs because I thought that would be more damage than strength. And uh, here, we, here we are. So that was the quick variation. Now moving on to strength. And something that I did overlook in the prep video with the strength variation is the... Ability to get a conditional with defense down. Unfortunately, you can't actually get that. So, you do need to bring a different um, conditional boost. I don't know if you can use any conditional boost at all. Um, but if you're above 50% HP and you use a defense down, it is going to trigger an interrupt. Now, I just let it rock for this variation. But you can just replace Robin with something like Sop Sop. I believe I had Sop Sop initially on the team. He's just a fantastic unit that can go on this team. You can utilize him for base stats as well as that conditional boost. There is a um, intimidation for an orb buff, so using Luffy and Ace uh, at level limit break five, or not level limit break five, just their six plus, I believe, gives you the two turn orb boost. Uh, plus their super swap gives chain boundary as well. You're not gonna get the um, conditional boost because of Momo not being a quick or a strength unit, but that's okay, because you don't really need it. Who's who's gonna give uh, you bind on your top row? He also has uh, resi resilience, so this is where Momo is great, because he can get around the resilience, his captain really gets around the bind, and then when he's super tight, you can actually give yourself forward a Wano orbs, because he makes every orb unfavorable for five turns. So utilizing one or tandem orbs, it works very, very nicely. Now, if you guys are missing Zoro Sanji, as mentioned in the prep video, Rush Sanji is just a fantastic replacement. You can just use something like Rush Sanji, or even Super Tandem Zoro is another really, really good option for this particular team too. So, um, you can easily slide that unit on. Um, Luffy and Ace are fantastic because they can use the white bid support. Um, you also can use supports like Kanjuro on Momo and other supports to remove Despair. But um, Luffy and Ace can give you a chain boundary for one turn, which is awesome, uh, starting at 2.5. To remove the defense up, we're using um, Zoro Sanji, but again, Rush Sanji is a fantastic unit here. Unfortunately, you can't use uh, Robin. Robin just doesn't work. It, it is what it is. Um, but you can use another conditional. Like I said, Zoro would be a great option there if you don't have... Uh, Super Tandem Zora, if you don't have Zora Sanji, and then you can just rush Sanji for the defense up removal. Or you could even use like Kinemon Dendro, that's another really good option that can remove defense up too. They can also give more resistance with their Super Swap too, so plenty of options for this particular team. Momo gets it done very, very nicely. You can actually get Momo's cooldowns too, which is absolutely insane, um, just with the amount of cooldowns that he actually gives as a captain and um, as a unit is really, really nice. But 
having Zora Sanji on the team just increases your damage immensely. And um, this particular team should go to the absolute moon, just like the previous one did against the um, the which what was it the uh, the quick variation. Both these both these fights are very easy, but the next one is a bit more challenging. However, we do manage to get it done fairly nicely because of the amount of cooldowns that Momo can give. And bringing something like Ashura Zoro works great because he can get around the stun. Well, not for this variation. But he can give you chain shenanigans and you need to be above a certain chain to do damage. So he is just a fantastic unit for Momo teams. Plus, Momo actually gives Wano Orbs. Now, I, I goof it and I don't have a Wano Orb on my captain. But it's very easy to get a full board of Wano Orbs. You could even move Luffy and Yamato across one spot. So they're going to give the Wano Orb to uh, Momo, your captain. To allow you to get the chain shenanigans in terms of your tap timing and the multiplicative from Zoro. Utilizing the free-to-play white beard is fantastic for this fight too. They really want you to use the white beard and the uh, free-to-play or the exchange ace. So free-to-play white beard uh, 5 plus and then the exchange ace. The two of them work really, really well together on this particular variation. So if you have that ace, you can easily put him on the team or run him as captain if you guys are struggling to actually beat the variation as a whole. Utilizing Momo as captain, we get the attack boost on the start. You can use those one orbs to extend that attack boost, and then you can move into the second stage. You are going to take a 95% HP cut here. There's also uh, damage reduction and um, a burn. Now, the burn has turned into this super burn. So if you hit any perfect, it just hits you with a game over tab. So just be mindful of that. But the new white bit's great because you're below 10% HP. You can get the three-turn chain boundary. You remove the burn. Um, Usahashi gives you cooldowns for uh, Zoro, and then you're just pretty much hunky-dory from there. You can use the super type of um, Momo to give yourself some Wano Orbs. It means that you're going to kill very easily there. You can actually save a Wano Orb on your captain in that very moment. You actually get a 3.5 times attack boost if you see Jack, but um, unfortunately for us, Momo, he already gives us an attack boost. On the final stage, we're going to super swap with Luffy Yamato. That's going to give us color affinity to our free spirits. You can use their special for a two times can, uh, additional damage taken, as well as an orb buff. And then Zoro is going to give you all those extra chain shenanigans as well. This particular team is definitely going to struggle in terms of damage compared to the other two that you just saw. But it still manages to get it done, and it'll definitely clear 30 plus. Probably cap out at around 40, high 40s, early 50s. Uh, but for now, it's working very, very well. And if you guys are just like me and you want to maximize your EXP gains throughout the Kazuna fights, then these teams hopefully helped you guys out. But if they did, make sure to go down there, belt the like button for me, hit the subscribe button, do all that good stuff. Most importantly, though, whether you guys like this beautiful world, please remember to enjoy the rest of your day. As always, homies, thank you all for watching, and I will catch you all in the next one.